Friday saw the North West in Bloom judges come to Morecambe to look at our floral extravaganzas. The weather didn't help us on Friday, quite a wet, dreary day, but the flowers brightened up the town. Morecambe always looks better in the sunshine anyway. First stop for the judges was to visit Lord Street that's looking particularly beautiful this year, enhanced by all that fantastic work that's been done at the Morecambe Hotel. They stopped and chatted with the Bloomers' very own Betty and Barry and admired their beautiful floral displays that they've worked very, very hard on this year. Lord Street, even in the rain, looked fantastic. The next stop was Happy Mount Park. Mixed feelings about the visit to there, really, because the judges commented on the weeds at the entrance because that's the first thing that the tourists who come to Morecambe see. David Croxall, the Morecambe Town Clerk and myself were escorting the judges around on Friday and after they'd pointed out the weeds at the front of Happy Mount Park, David and I removed them ourselves, which is actually a lot of people around Morecambe have done. The We Your Street week, people have come out of their houses, gone down their streets and pulled the weeds themselves. The rest of Happy Mount Park, as usual, looked incredible. Great floral displays and wonderful to walk through. Leaving Happy Mount Park, we made our way round to the Dog and Partridge. Every year, the Dog and Partridge make a great effort, and this year was no exception. Specifically, around the back of the pub, the hanging baskets looked incredible. We made our way to Bear Lane Station and met the community workers there. This is a fantastic project involving Greatwood School, encouraging the children to grow not just plants, but they're actually growing runner beans on Bear Lane Station these days. I think they should have a stall and sell them. Lots of work has been done at Bear Lane Station. Lots of hard work completed by a great team. The whole station looked fantastic. However, there was a wildflower display in between the tracks. After leaving Bear Lane Station, we went to visit the wonderful children at Greatwood School. We met the reception class who showed us the flowers and the, and the vegetables that they have been growing. We even sampled some. It's lovely to see the younger generation getting involved in planting, gardening, growing things. Besides Greatwood, there were another couple of schools who were involved in the Morecambe in Bloom entries. Unfortunately, time constraints didn't allow the judges to visit every school. But thank you to Greatwood School. was North Street, a floral extravaganza, 100% what's the word? Pink. Uh, <laughs> the next stop was North Street and the pink house. <laughs> North Street residents have worked extremely hard this year and there was 100% involvement this year and the judges were very impressed taking photographs themselves 
to support the Morecambe in Bloom entry into Northwest in Bloom. I think it's the best street, but I'm not biased. Or I might be. Sorry, Lord Street. Next, we went to Queen Elizabeth Court, and this is where it rained, and the heavens opened. The judges had a quick look around. Some residential homes do actually employ professional gardeners. What the judges commented about Queen Elizabeth was that it's the residents that are doing all the hard work themselves. Well done, Queen Elizabeth Court. This is great for the community who reside at Queen Elizabeth Court, and the judges were very, very keen to pick up on everything that was community-linked. Morecambe in Bloom entry is not just about the best flower. It's about the best effort made by a community for the community. Stop was Regent Park, still raining unfortunately. Again, really significant improvements made there. <music> then we went to have our lunch, courtesy of the Berkeley Hotel. Thank you very much, Mal, it was delicious. And the display outside Mal's house, the Berkeley Hotel, and the adjacent houses was absolutely superb. Credit has to be given here. The residents along that stretch of Marine Road were out the day before and we did the entire pavement from the Battery down to Regent Road. Well done, Mal and friends. Next up was Morecambe Station. Michael Woodhouse has done some fantastic work and the judges commented on his floral display outside the station and the planters on the platform. Planters are a new addition to the station, made from recycled railway sleepers. The stop at Morecambe Station had two negatives, unfortunately. Michael's hard work was undermined by the litter on the railway line. And after leaving Morecambe train station, the judges paid particular comment to the three roundabouts on Central Drive that lead down to the promenade. This is the entrance into our great promenade. The final stop was Eric Morecambe's statue and it would have been great to have some sunshine to bring. Bring me sunshine in your smile. Make me happy all the while. <laughs> all in all, Judging Day was a fantastic day and a day to be proud of all the effort that all the more Cambrians have put into this year's competition. Special thanks have to really go to David Croxall and Abigail Fawcett, who have worked tirelessly to support the Morecambe Bloomers in this year's entry. The results are due out in October, and then we'll know what award we've received, but also how we can improve. Morecambe is looking great. People, houses, businesses have put on great displays. We just need more. We need more people to come in and join the Morecambe in Bloom. It's a great community project brings people together and makes everybody smile.